You have multiple theories on death. Yes. I also believe that um, you get to, like, sort of, like, once you die, you will, you are made aware of all of your other your former lives so because like i do believe that like ancestral memories are real like how you just like kind of feel something you don't really know why but like i feel like it's whoever you were in your past life kind of experiencing something helping you through that shit or like making you aware something of that nature so whoever you were throughout your past lives you'll be made aware of that i suppose but i don't think you get to know if if you're if you're carried over into another life i don't think you get to know that shit like what the fucking what so that future holds. so you don't get to know the new life you only get to know the past and the present yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i don't know like predictive futuristic type of shit just like on some like this is what has been this is what is and i and i also feel like now i feel like reincarnation is kind of an option like you don't necessarily have to do the whole comeback thing like if you want some like i got some unfinished business shit you just keep cycling through mm. being different people however do you feel like you're on some unfinished business shit do you feel like you're a reincarnation i don't i think i am but i feel like this i'm kind of feeling like this is my final this is my final stop low-key i thought that too about myself i feel like this is something it. of that of that like of that thought i mm-hmm. thought of that as, i was like you I know feel like this i feel I like, like this if, is a wrap like but i low-key feel like past lives are definitely real i feel like mm-hmm. i've had some i feel like i've had visions in my in my sleep and then even mm-hmm. in my daytime mm-hmm. just like seeing places and feeling like i've been here yeah but like before like before it yeah. was even this yeah and i like i don't know like i feel like i because i personally feel like there is a. Hello, are you? Hi, good evening. Um, yes, please. Can I have a little bit of each sauce, please? Um, I definitely. Can I have a little bit of all of them? Um, I definitely feel like I was a slave in my past, in one of my past lives, and I also feel like I was a native person of some sort. I don't know when, of either one of these. But maybe you were a native slave, my nigga. Could have. I don't think. No, I don't think. I don't feel like they overlap. I feel like they were very like separate, like completely separate experiences. Um, Might have been though, because your family, you know, like enslaved Africans were brought over here, and then there were indigenous folks that were here that helped the enslaved. So perhaps, like maybe, like maybe one of your past lives you were enslaved and maybe in the next past life you were not enslaved and you were a native indigenous mm-hmm. person and you like maybe like use your knowledge from being enslaved to have empathy to to help other folks who are enslaved i have no idea but i just feel like excuse me you know i don't know just like i feel thank you you too um I don't know. I just feel like certain, I don't even want to say connections because that makes it seem deeper than I actually think it might be. But like, I don't know. Like, you know, you just sometimes feel a certain kind of way. And I feel like that's because of past experiences that I'm not fully cognizant of, but like are definitely there and definitely real. So I feel like whenever I cease to exist in this world, I will have knowledge of all of that shit from, you know, for however long this spirit that's within me has been cycling through. Because I feel like, I think in a lot of ways, that could be why I often just feel so tired because I think whoever I, like whoever is, like I'm composed of has just been kind of like running for a long time. So I definitely, that's why I think I feel like, I think that's why I don't have a fear of death. Like, I feel like I could just be like done with this shit at any given moment. Cause it's like, I think spiritually in a lot of ways, I'm just tired. It's not, I don't necessarily think it's just me, but like my, my soul is like kind of done with the whole like cycling through life sort of shit. Mm. So I think like whenever Sydney Staples dies, I'm going to be able to just kind of like be at peace peace you know what I mean and I think that's because I 
am just sort of like picking up on a lot of shit. I'm becoming more in tune with myself. And I think that, you know, that helps a lot. Um, but, and I think just being afforded to live certain experiences uh, without hindrance is also a part of that. What do you mean? Like, I've just, I've been very blessed to live quite a cushy life in a lot of senses. So I've been able to just let myself sort of unfold to myself. You know what I mean? Like I haven't really, I didn't have strict ass parents who were like, okay, this is what you have to do. This is what your life has to be. They were just like, whatever, just don't fuck, don't, don't fucking die, bitch. Like, <laughs> just don't. I'm sure Urso was like, I'm sure Urso wanted you to do more. You know, just from how she is, but I feel like but at the she same never, time like, she had put such any a stipulations on me. You know what but I, mean? I think like, that's because she had such strict I... parenting. You know, so I think she yeah, wanted to give so. you a little bit more freedom, which I definitely but appreciate. but more love. You know, more love than she got, but more support than she ever had. Definitely so. So she was all, like just ultra supportive in every way. So I think that really helped to. I think it shaped you, you know? Definitely so. Like, cause, like even right now, like, I be feeling, like, real fucked up. But, like, it's more so just, like, of the adjustments to the outside world. I don't feel so, like, I don't, in, in addition to that, I don't feel lost within myself, if that makes sense. Like, I mm. feel like. You know I, yourself, so you can be right. out here. But I feel like knowing yourself right. while you're out here is kind of fucked up, too. It is. It is. It's like, fuck. What the fuck? Why do I have to fucking. Like, I know, I don't know. It's like, sometimes it's like when you have too much information, it almost makes it, it makes it harder. Like, I definitely see why yeah, too ignorance old. is bliss. Because, like, when you know things and you're aware of things and you're aware of the ways the world is sort of working around you, it can make it really hard to just kind of keep doing the same things. But, like, those are the things you need to do to sustain in the moment. So, sometimes it's like, I get, I don't know, I feel kind of, crazy because I feel like in a lot of ways I'm I'm living outside like so far beyond the moment that it's almost like it just feels regressive to have to actually be grounded in whatever is actually taking place true but true that was a good way to put it like you just feel like you're too, like you just feel like you've outgrown a lot of things or like or like yeah. thing or like, like I feel like I've just moved or so much a doesn't lot of, a lot of ways of thinking or just yeah just like a lot of stuff you're so much like, doesn't satisfy you like it used to right like things so taste different like, smell different feel different i get that yeah so it's like what yeah the fuck? i still have to like be in this realm when this isn't really for me mm. anymore so it's kind of like you're waiting for the rest of your shit to kind of catch up to where i feel like at. that's like liberation pains like i feel like we're so ready to be liberated like some of us that like it's kind of like we can't even participate fully in like what's happening right now in our society mm -hmm. because we feel like it's mm -hmm. all bullshit it's all a sham and it's all mm -hmm. worth nothing like low-key that's why i low-key don't give a fuck about my camera quality when i make videos because it's like fuck it I don't care. You still heard what the fuck you I said. You heard what the fuck I said. I'm here. You know what I mean? It's like, yo, it's like.